This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Megan Hahn with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening. For the first time in program history, the Huskers are 0 and 6. Fans, fans were sounding off on social media and many aren't very pleased with the record. Fans Saturday night said this game was the one that got away. Some of the Husker faithful are frustrated, but many are rolling with the punches, saying if anybody can right the ship, it's Scott Frost. And training for a mass casualty event is critical for airports like Epley Airfield. Saturday was a full-scale exercise of a mass casualty event at Epley, a simulation of a plane crash involving a Boeing 737. More than 150 volunteers acted as victims with mock injuries as well as their family members. The exercise gave the Omaha Airport Authority the chance to test their emergency plan. And on 3 News Now, meteorologist Mark Stitt. Snow showers will continue to move through the area early in the afternoon on Sunday, then quickly push further to the south. Now, any accumulations of snow we do see will mainly be on grassy areas and will be short-lived. The Omaha Metro will see between 0 to 1 inch of accumulation. A couple pockets of heavier snow are possible, though, south of I-80 in Nebraska. But again, we're not expecting a big impact from the snow. A lot of it will melt on contact as it hits the ground. But for Sunday afternoon, once we do dry out, we stay dry or we stay mostly cloudy temperatures in the mid 30s winds won't be as strong as they were in the morning as they will be in the afternoon we get even colder though heading into the monday morning commute everyone under a freeze watch meaning yes the first hard freeze of the season is just around the corner temperatures will start the day in the upper 20s heading into monday afternoon then the sunshine is out in full force only warming us up though into the mid 40s we stay below average on tuesday but a little bit higher into the upper 50s the second half of the work week we continue to warm things up eventually climbing into the mid 60s Thursday and Friday, but cooler air could return by our next weekend.